Mount Zion Films Productions. Sunday after ordination should not meet me a late comma. It is just past seven. You have to take something. The church will be packed full. If guys not take it, we may not have a parking space. The people will be trooping in to listen to my first sermon. Thank you. You and Junior must not be late. Okay? We are now away. Right. See you soon. Okay. Junior! Okay, mom. Take in the evangelism taking place this Thursday. 
how will be particularly late with my son. Amen? Amen. This will be an opportunity for you to tell people about God's goodness in this church. Amen? Amen. Can we have a close in here? Who will be singing amazing praise? God bless you. God bless, God bless you. you. Have a blessed week. God bless you. God bless you. And request to your mom. <laughs> good morning, Pastor. Oh, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I was truly blessed today. The message was awesome. We give God the glory. Amen. How is your husband? He's doing well, sir. Oh, my special regards to him. I will, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Zan. Thank, thank you. you, my sister. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. God bless you. Regards to your husband. Thank you, sir. And have thank a you. nice week. I will, sir. God Bye. bless you. Take care of yourself, oh. Thank you. Give God the glory. <laughs> Papa, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Pastor, this church is about to experience a new revolution by the fresh anointing poured out today in the service. The Holy Spirit was mightily present. Hmm. The importation was visible. I was tremendously blessed. Good. What part of the message touched you most today? Ah, the hymn. A very powerful song. Blessed assurance, Jesus. Papa, that was not the hymn we sang today. Oh, what amazing grace! How sweet we sang. That was the hymn we sang today, Papa. Good. What part of the message touched you most? Well, ah. Uh, I, I, I was blessed, I was tremendously blessed, and that's the most important thing. I will be leaving now. Thank you. I'll be on my way. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. God bless you. God Thank bless you. you. Have a nice week. He slept all through. I know. Oh, good day, Pastor. Good day, Ma. Matis, how are you? Oh, a lot better, thanks. I suppose we'll be removing the cast today. Yes, Ma. Good. Good. I desperately wanted to come to church today, but I needed to tread with caution because of my father. Hmm. He was around, and I didn't want further complication. The last fight resulted in this. Who knows what the next one will be? Matis. It is okay. We'll be praying for you. All will be well. Thank you, Pastor, for your support. I believe God will change my father. Yes. Whenever he is high on alcohol, a different spirit enters him. It's been difficult. The last time we had that conflict, he warned me specifically never to come to church again. Yeah. It is where my things, my dear. We'll be praying for him. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. Good 
morning, gentlemen. Morning. Morning, morning sir. sir. Please take your seat. Thank you. <coughs> Mr. Williamson, as you are aware, this meeting is regarding the load of cargo goods to South America, which was impounded at the El Dorado International Airport in Colombia. And here, <coughs> what is this? That is a letter from our government mandating us to shut down this company until all investigations are completed. A $1 million penalty is required for each day that the shipment is seized. $1 million per day? Are you kidding me? Gentlemen. Oh dear. Oh, and Dr. Gloria, I almost forgot. This is Mr. Smith's lab results. It's not looking too good. What would you like me to do about it? Run the lab results again and get back to me. All right, I will. Thank you. Oh, hi, Dr. Hi, Hello. Doctor. Hi, Hi, How are you? Yeah, hi. This is my Yes, I remember you. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Nice to yeah. see you again. Have a nice day. No This is Johnson. Yes. Oh, could you come with me, please? May I have a word with you, please? Mr. Williamson, she wants to see you. I can't take it anymore, Doctor. I can't watch her die. And I know how hard this must be for you. But she really wants to see you, and you have to give her this last opportunity to see you. Okay, this way, please. Good. Sweetheart. Your son needs you. But what can I do? Look for him. Let him see the father he used to love. I have tried everything possible, but he won't forgive me. Look for him. Look for him. Elizabeth? Elizabeth! 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 Oh, Elizabeth! 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 Oh. Elizabeth! Oh my God! Elizabeth!
John. Mr. Jude Williamson. I've been standing outside here for over an hour waiting for you to come out. Because I know you will not let me in. What are you doing here? You're supposed Listen. not to be here. Listen, John, we need to talk. We are talking. Son, your mother is gone. Gone where? No. You are joking, right? I'm sorry. She passed on yesterday afternoon. What? Oh. No. 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 Sorry, son. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 don't move closer. Just step back. Step back. Don't move closer. <coughs> Her dying wish is that we should come together as a family again. Really? She wants that? Yes, son. I, I have changed. Change? Many years ago, you used to be the best dad any child would dream of having. But you got this job and it changed you completely. You started fighting for your career instead of fighting for your home. You abandoned us and deposited all your love and affections on a job that has not slipped out of your hands. Change? I believe in change, but I know you cannot change. John? Please, forgive me. I'm forgiving you, Dad. But you cannot be part of my life. Not now, not ever. I promise you things will be different from now on. No one to lean on, no one to call a father because a strange woman took you away from us. Give me a chance to build a home again, son. Home? Which home? Which home? Mark is gone, mom is gone. Which home? Remember that night when our house was on fire? Where were you? You were in the bar with your co-workers enjoying the comfort of a strange woman. If you were around, Mark will still be alive to today. Can I at least see my grandchild? He has no grandfather. For him. Let him see the father he used to love.
murdered. Y yes, Dad? Where you coming from? I, I went to the hospital to remove the cast. I couldn't yesterday. I phoned the doctor. He said you left 11 o'clock this morning. So where are you coming from, boy? I, uh... Church? We had choir practice and, and there was no one to play the keyboard and I thought it would be wise to help them. You know what would have been wise? Obeying me. That would have been wise. Respecting me. That would have been wise. I, I could never disrespect you, Dad. Did I get to stop going to that church? But I, I didn't go last Sunday. I just wanted to help them today. Come here. Come here. What do you want, Dad? Come here. What are you doing with that bottle, Dad? What I do with this bottle is none of your business. I'll give you a gun and three to come here. Please, Dad. Let what? me go upstairs. Dad, please. Two. Please don't do this. Three. Dad, no. ah. oh. What is that? Start. You did it again, Pastor. This time, he nearly killed me. I, I tried to get away, but I couldn't before he attacked me. It is okay. It is okay. Let's come inside. Oh, Jesus. Same word. Oh, Jesus. Hey boy, come over here. We're here for evangelism and not for computer game. Come over. Okay, sorry, Dad. Who's it? Oh, hello, Pastor. How are you? I'm fine. Can we come in? Yeah, sure, come right in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where are your children? In the basement. Junior, go and play in the basement. Okay, Daddy. Alfred, is that the reason why you've not been coming to church? Is that not a good enough reason, Pastor? How can a woman whom I loved so much, whom I trusted so much, cheat on me? Pastor, she slept with my best friend on our matrimonial bed. I just carry this heavy load of unforgiveness, and I can't drop it. I've locked her in my heart and thrown the keys away. I know you'll come asking me to forgive her. But I'm sorry, so I can't. Alfred, whatever decision you make on this matter, it is for your own benefit, not for our own benefit. If you will experience God's blessing, then you must forgive your wife. Unforgiveness leads to stagnation. This is a gatekeeper that hinders God's blessing from flowing into your life. The book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 to 15, it says, if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if ye forgive not their trespasses, neither will your Father in heaven forgive you. For God's sake, please forgive your wife. I hear you, Pastor. Okay. I will forgive her if you answer these questions truthfully. Okay. Has anybody ever offended you? Mm, yes. Has a close family member ever broken your heart? Mm, 
Yes, and... Yes, yes, Did yes. you forgive? You see, for somebody to make heaven, it is important that... That's my question is, did you forgive? Unforgiveness is a great and terrible sin before God. And many of us go in out of this preaching, Pastor. Answer my question. Okay, I will answer your question if you allow me to read a verse in the Bible. You did not forgive. You did not forgive. Whoever the person was, you have not forgiven him or her. What? Why did you tell me to do what is impossible for me to do? Pastor, if unforgiveness will take me to hell, wearing a pastor's robe won't grant you entrance into heaven either. Pastor, leave my house. Huh? I said, leave my house. This minute, get out! But, uh, Pastor, get out of my house! Junior? Junior! Yes, Dad. But, uh, 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 Pastor, I said, get out! Incriminate my father? Yes, if that will make you a free man. Martins, this is the ticket to your freedom. All you need to do is to sign these papers. If I get you right, Pastor, signing these papers will put my father in jail. This man abuses you. He is a major hindrance to your life. You are not a kid anymore. He does not have the right to beat you like an animal. This is the time you have to stand your ground. This is the time you have to tell him that you are not a fool he thinks you are. This is the time you have to put him out of your life for good. Pastor, Jesus said do not resist an evil person. He said if someone strikes you on the right cheek, you should turn to him the other cheek. You have turned your cheeks. He slaps heaven after, out of you. You have turned your head. He knocks senses out of you. Martins. You have nothing else to turn to him. Turn him over to the police. Martins, this is the best decision you can ever make. And it is for your own good. You have the legal right to sue him in court for all what he has done to you. You can also let him go scot free or stand your ground and let justice roll. I cannot sue my father. I cannot put my father in prison. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. This man does not deserve you as a son. But I deserve him as my father. I love him so much. I care for him. Every day I pray he encounters the Lord. And God didn't tell me he would encounter him in the prison. Martins, all this love for a man who abuses you, who takes away your right, who treats you like an animal. As a pastor, I pleaded with the social worker not to do this. But I'm also bad by law to report abuse. But the final decision is yours. Pastor, Keep talking about my rights. Yes. There was a man. His name is Jesus. They abused him. They took away his rights. They treated him like an animal, but he still loved them. Pastor, think. My dad needs me at home. I have to go and take care of him. Please excuse me. Get away from me, you drunk man! I have nothing to do with you! Ferrari, Lamborghini, Beavers, 
Hey, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, who's this? Who's, who's I don't, this guy? I don't know. That drunk's come back, man. He's what's supposed to be here, man. You know what we do? Let's just go push him. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's trick him out, man. Yeah. Hey, yo, drunk man, what are you doing on the streets, man? Help me out. Help me out. Help you what? This drunk is walking on the street. What? Get out of here, man. No, push him away. Get off the. Get off the. You know what I'm saying? Let's leave this drunk. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. No. No. Okay. No. It's okay. 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 Yes, Dad. Is that you, son? Yes, Dad. It's me. Did I? Did I hit you yesterday? Just a little. I'm so sorry, son. I don't know what comes over me sometimes. I need help. I need help. It's okay, Dad. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus will save you. He will never give up on you. He loves you, Dad. I hate myself. No, Dad. I love you. And Jesus loves you even more. I saw my wretchedness. And I hate what I saw. Oh, God. Please help me. <laughs> okay. It's okay, Dad. Ask him. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that you know this will be the last time I will be drinking with you. Uh, William. Uh -huh. Are you traveling somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> to where? To eternity. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that? Uh, Jude. <laughs> look, 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 Jude. Are you going to commit suicide? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what's so funny? <laughs> you are too unserious to kill yourself. Of course! <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Yes, really. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to commit suicide? Mm. Well, I lost my job. Okay. No. I lost my home. No. No. Me too. No more. No more. I lost my friend. No. <laughs> I lost my family. Oh, okay. I lost everything. Come on, Jude. <laughs> no. But you still have us. Yes. You still have us. Of course. <laughs> yeah. That's the more reason why I want to kill myself. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> come on. The only three friends I have in the whole world are three drunkards. Oh, I pay for yeah. every time. Wait. Come on, Jude. Four. Yeah. Four. Four of us. <laughs> You have him. Yes. <laughs> Can you see? You have him there. And you have me. <laughs> and uh, oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about three drunkards. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You, my friend, don't look like somebody who wants to kill himself. Not at all. Not at all. No, no. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. You have my blessing. Mm -hmm. Kill yourself. Just remember to send my invitation. So, I'll come to your phone era. What are you saying you this drunk man? He be a dead man. Can a dead man send you an <laughs> invitation? Eh? Oh, that's true. <laughs> You're going to be a dead man by then, Mr. Williamson. At your phone era. If I see your face like this. <laughs> I'll come join you the next day. If I see your face like this. Hmm. No, sir. <laughs> you are your own. <laughs> William, Jude, 
You know something? If you kill yourself, you are going to hellfire. Look at what he's saying. Say so. Um, well, says, um, says God. God in the Bible. Huh? Says God in the Bible. <laughs> There's no God. What? I don't believe in that crap. What are you talking about? There's a God. Let me tell you. And I believe that there's heaven and there's hell. William, there's hell. Look at him. If you are a believer, why are you so hopelessly drunk? Uh, well, well, this is the day. If you can prove to me that God really exists, I will turn my life over to him completely. Mm -hmm. This is the only thing that can stop me. Okay. And that might be my only hope. Perfect. You know what? This conversation is over. Ah. But when you go, continue, you continue. continue. Yes, continue. Ah. Meanwhile, see, let them go. See here, William. There's a God. I'll tell you. And he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for me. And you. <laughs> Go on. I really love to hear a drunk and speak to me. Come on, tell me all you know about Jesus. See, Jesus Christ is God's son. And he came to die. And he was resurrected. And only if you, Jude, believe in him, he will save you. And you'll go to heaven. As simple as ABC. When you know so much about Jesus, okay, why are you in this mess? The man I see before me doesn't look like a man with life. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a living dead. Mm -hmm. A walking ghost. Mm -hmm. I see a hopeless man. Jude, I'm hopeless. Ah, okay. Okay, I am hopeless. Is it because I allowed sin to rule me? I feel Jesus. I failed him big time. But uh, only if I return to him, he would forgive me for all my sins. But there's a problem. A big problem. I can't forgive myself. It's a problem. I can't forgive myself, Jude. Eh? Hmm. Jude, I can't forgive myself. Jude, where are you going? Jude, where are you going? Mama! Come another one for me, please. Jude, eh? So defenseless. This is the second member of my church to challenge my authority as a pastor. Something is wrong somewhere. I'm like a shepherd who does not know the way anymore. I'm losing my chip. I've prayed, but I'm not getting the point. Mm. Sweetheart, the Spirit of the Lord has been pressing the scripture into my heart. Five times the scripture has come to my heart this morning. An evil stronger. I can't seem to get it off my mind or off my heart. Really? Listen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. There be. You are reciting the Lord's prayer. I don't know why this particular passage echoes in your mind. Let me finish. Thy way be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. 
as we forgive our debt. I've told you, I have nothing against my father. If you want your heavenly father to forgive you, then you have to forgive your earthly father. For heaven's sake, Debbie, my father has nothing to do with this. My father is living his life. I'm living my own life. You are taking his life slowly. You are killing that old man gradually. He killed us 20 years ago. It was the reason my brother got trapped in the fire that claimed his life. It was the reason my mom suffered all these years from high blood pressure. Debbie, is, I have nothing to do with him again. I'm done with him. I'm through with him. Debbie, don't repeat this issue again. Then everything will continue to go wrong until you make amends and obey what God tells you to do. Pastor John, take a look at the mirror. Tell me what you see. Because what I see right now is pride, hatred and anger. You cannot climb the people to the devil's court on you. You cannot serve God, our mama. You might think your earthly father needs your forgiveness. Let me tell you, sir, you need God's forgiveness. Take a look into the mirror Tell me what you see inside Is it an image representing the Savior Or of anger, hatred and pride Someone's hurt you really bad It's tearing you up inside Deep down you are really sad It's changing who you are Don't let it get the best of you Think about what Jesus would do If he can't forgive, so should you No more John, I am so sorry I have been the worst father I have not been there for you or your brother Nor was I there for your mother Indeed, I don't deserve to have you there for me now. <laughs> Let <laughs> me die alone. Let me face the judgment for my selfishness and stupidity. I am only reaping what I have sown. I know you can look at me and call me a father. But I hope at my burial, you will look at me and call me daddy. You cannot climb the people to the devil's court on you. You cannot serve God, our mama. You might think your earthly father needs your forgiveness. Let me tell you, sir, you need God's forgiveness. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, where am I? Where am I? Ah, 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 where am I? You sinner and worker of iniquity, you bitter-hearted servant that holds others prisoners in your heart, because you refuse to forgive, depart from me and go into the eternal lake of fire. Good. <laughs> 
Daddy, pick your call. <laughs> pick your call. I don't know why he's not picking his call. <laughs> pick your phone, please, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, pick up my call! Please, pick up my call! I don't know why Daddy is not picking up this call. Daddy, please, pick up the call. Please, please, pick up. Oh, my God. Miss Cox, oh, Daddy. Forgiveness from him. I must forgive you. Daddy, sorry. Please calm down. Please just calm down. Calm down, please. I'm... <laughs> please, Daddy. I'm forgiving you. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry. Meet your grandpa. Good evening, Grandpa. Good evening, Junior. How do you know my name? You have no idea how I have desired to meet with you. You look exactly like your daddy when he was a boy. Good evening, Grandpa. This is Deb Deborah. Yes. Debbie for short. I am so honored to meet you. Pleasure is all mine. Wow. Thank God. This is a dream come true. I now have my life back again. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You're highly welcome, Papa. Thank you. Come in. <laughs>
What is she doing here, Pastor? Will you allow us in? No. I can't allow you in with this woman beside you. Then you are simply keeping Jesus out of your life. How do you mean? A lot of people walk along with prison in their hearts. They are the jailers of this mobile prison. I used to be one of them. I locked my father in my heart for a very long time. I wouldn't forgive him. But I've come to realize that in Jesus Christ, there is no room for unforgiveness. What this woman did to me was shameful. Pastor, it was abominable. Alfred, your sins and my sins are also abominable and shameful before God. Yet, if you forgive us and love us when we invited Jesus into our heart, your wife has recently encountered the Lord Jesus Christ. She is now a new creature. God has forgiven our past. Will you? I, I have seen in God's eyes. I have done this terrible wrong against you. Alfred, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> In the prison of my unforgiveness, I've come to discover that by setting my father's free, I also became free. Alfred, I will leave you and your wife. Brother Alfred, I pray God give you the grace to forgive. We'll be praying for you. <laughs> with this tie, would you? Okay. Is, is today not Sunday? Yes, Dad. Today is Sunday. Then why are you not dressed for church? Well, you instructed me not to go to church. Son, never listen to the instructions of a drunken man. Didn't the Bible tell you that? Well, I guess it did. If I told you to jump in the fire, would you jump in the fire? No, but... Then why are you listening to my foolish instructions? There's no difference between a drunken man and a crazy man. What do you mean? Son, I was not the one who instructed you. Then who did? It was the evil spirits that took me over when I was drunk. So how do I tell the difference? Are your eyes still functioning? Yes, Dad. Can you see me? Yes, sir. Do I look drunk? No, Dad. Good. That is the difference. Ty is okay now. Oh, good. Perfect. Well, I hope when your pastor sees me today, he won't take me for the drunkard that I was two days ago. No, uh, no, Dad. He won't. By the way, son, you better get dressed for church. You're going to be late. I'm heading there now. I promised my new friend I'd meet him early. Who's that, Dad? My Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. See you at church, son. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I was glad when they said unto me, Come into the house of the Lord. 
give Jesus a clap of faith. Jam your hands together for Jesus. I'm not going to jam your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. We have a wonderful service in the house. Just stand up and give God praise as you watch me give God adoration. There's a wonderful service this morning. We're celebrating God for our women. We're celebrating God for our brothers, for our sisters. Sweetheart. Yes. Sweetheart. You can't believe what is happening. Has the service started? The hall is packed full. What? Packed full of people. Packed full of people? Yes. And the Nigeria. Let's go, let's go. Wow. Praise the Lord.
No more Don't wanna be in chains No more Tired of staying behind the bars No more I'm sick of being a slave yeah. If Jesus could forgive all of my sins As many as they are As filthy as I am A lot of people walk around with prisons in their heart. When you hold a grudge against someone, just know that the devil is hiding behind the scene to pull you down. When someone offends you, it's best to build a fence of forgiveness around yourself. Because if you don't, you're indirectly telling God that his death on the cross is pointless. If Jesus could forgive all of my sins, as many as they are, as filthy as I am, who am I to say I'm never gonna forgive? I am free, all things have passed away.